Now, the title of this video may cause some controversy, but hear me out before you judge. Now, I've tried vision boards, I have tried manifestation journals, I have tried Pinterest mood boards, I have tried literally physical and digital vision boards. I've tried it all and yes, they look great on my wall. They look great as my wallpaper on my laptop and on my phone. But there is one thing that the aesthetic vision board wasn't doing for me. And that was actually moving me closer to what I wanted. And I didn't realize all of this until last week. See, until last week, I still believed that my goals were being achieved because I had a vision board and maybe that does have a small part to play. But then I realized that everything on my vision board is then mapped out in a tangible way on my Notion board or my Kanban board in Notion. Every single goal that I have achieved in the last few years is broken down into actionable steps on my Notion Kanban board. So yes, while vision boards are cute, vision boards are aesthetic and I love the emotion that a vision board creates for me, I do believe that vision boards are not the way to actually achieve what you want if you are really serious about it. So in this video, I'm going to be convincing you why you need a Kanban board to complement your vision board. I'm gonna share with you how I have utilized my Notion Kanban board over the last few years to achieve any and every goal I have set for myself. I'm not gonna do a deep dive into my Notion setup because I already have previous videos on this which you can go and watch, but rather the point of this video is just to plant a seed in your brain that you need a way to tangibly break down actionable steps to complement your vision board. So if you're interested in that, if you are curious as to how I take my vision and actually translate it into steps that I can execute to guarantee that I will achieve what I want, then keep on watching. Now, the reason I decided to make this video now of all times is because we are about to enter a new quarter of the year, Q2, in fact. Can you believe it is already April by the time you're probably seeing this video? So if you did not do 2025 goal setting, maybe you did, but then you fell off the bandwagon, that is okay. Use this video as a sign combined with the start, fresh start to a new month and a new quarter to set yourself up to smash out the next 12 weeks. So let's quickly address the vision board thing once and for all. They are great for clarity. I think they're great again for creating emotion and they are great for giving you a direction that you want to go in. They show you what you want but they really show you how you are actually going to get there. But they do have value, right? They get you dreaming. They help you define your future reality. And they create visuals in your mind that I do believe are very, very important to you then putting yourself into that feeling of already acting like you have the thing that you want. Now, it's been years since I've been using a Notion board, but if I think back to before I used Notion or a Kanban board in the very, very intense way that I do now, I don't think I was really ticking off a lot that was on my vision board. And the only thing that changed that obviously were my actions because I'm now actually a lot more intentional with making sure I execute on the steps that will take me towards my vision goal desire. But it's, again, it's the tool and the system that allows you to do that, right? It's like anything. If you have a desire to start a YouTube channel, that's great. But guess what? Realistically, you're going to need to create habits and patterns, behaviors, and a system that enables you to do that. And dreams without a plan are just wishes. So in the same way, a notion or a Kanban board is the system to enable your wish on the vision board. I also think that sometimes when we create a vision board, we get a bit of a dopamine hit out of it, right? Especially if you're going onto Pinterest and you're looking at these aesthetic photos and you put something together that is just so nice to visually look at. And again, it creates that emotion, but it's a false sense of achievement. You just creating your vision board is not you actually sitting down and 
thinking about why you want a certain thing, how much you're willing to work to get it, and what you actually practically need to do or sacrifice to get there. It's like when we do busy work, we take off those few things on our list that yes, we need to get done, but they are not the top three tasks that you need to focus on today. They are not your priority. But when you start your day by just ticking off a few things on the list, you create that false sense of productivity. I think it's the exact same thing with a vision board. Now, I decided to start using Kanban boards probably six or seven years ago. I originally started with Trello. And then at some point when I got into a really good rhythm and habit of using a Trello Kanban board, I, I think I wanted more customization. I wanted a lot more control. That's when I tried Notion and here I am probably like six or seven years later, I'm, 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 I'm deep in Notion and I do not intend to ever leave anyone from Notion. If you are ever watching this video and you would like to sponsor a YouTube video for my channel, please do because I am literally a walking, talking billboard for your product. Why my Notion setup works for me is because I take what is on my vision board and I break it down into first and foremost categories and each column of my board is a category of life. And then I take each card under each category and I not only just write the tasks that I need to do for that particular goal, but I assign it a due date, I track my progress, and I leave comments about my progress and how I am feeling towards achieving and making progress with that goal throughout the year or throughout the quarter or whatever period of time it is that I'm focusing on it for. And just like ticking off something on a checklist, you know that little boost of dopamine you get from doing that? The reason I love a board rather than just a list is moving something from column to column or in my case as well, I do have labels that I assign to each card or each goal. When I update a status or I move a card from column to column, it gives me that same dopamine hit. And yeah, look, you could do it in a checklist, but the categorization, the moving from left to right, the visuals, the being able to keep each card up to date with like a live or, you know, month to month commentary is really where it's at for me. So it helps me create so much momentum by having it set up in this structure. Now, I also have a column on my Notion goal board called smashed and smashed means I completely finished and ticked off a goal that I had. And once in a while, I'll find myself scrolling through my smashed column. And that also gives me this dopamine hit because look at all of the things that I have done that I said I would do. And I moved from column to column to column and then smashed them out. And it just creates this overwhelming feeling of achievement. It's kind of like when, if you have a, a physical journal, it's kind of like when you stumble upon a, an old journal that you had, and you read it and you realize that the place that you were in is such a different place to how what, that you're in now or how you were feeling at the time. You have definitely grown past it. And yeah, it gives you a bit of a sense check as to what your personal growth has been. It's, it's sort of that same thing. And I don't do this intentionally. I just sometimes randomly end up in my smashed column and it is freaking awesome to have that history there. Now, one thing that I do religiously is review my Notion board monthly. Now, I am so deep into my Notion board usage that I open it multiple times a day, like probably going on like 20, 30 times a day at this point because I manage every aspect of my life in Notion, not just my goals. So I'm in there anyway. But regardless of that, because I'm doing that more on a day-to-day -day basis, I set aside an intentional period of time once a month to do a bit of a check-in with myself on how I'm actually progressing towards my goals, whether I still want those same things that I set out for myself at the start of the year, if I want to update anything, if I want to add anything or remove anything, because that is such an important part of goal setting because you change, you grow. That means your desires and your wants and your needs are also going to change and your goals should absolutely reflect that. 
It is okay if you wrote something down in January that in May you no longer want. That is not failure, that is growth. And that means you're making more space and more opportunity to achieve the other things that you still want to achieve. Now, the reason that monthly check-in that I do for myself is so good is because it keeps me accountable. And if I, again, sort of compare this to just having a nice aesthetic vision board, it, get, it just creates that feel, that warm, fuzzy feeling every time you look at it. But it's a false sense of achievement because you haven't necessarily done anything to get closer to the pictures that you have on your board. And again, your vision board should really be looking far, far into the future. And you could actually be making progress towards what's on your vision board, but it might take you 12, 24, 36 months to get there. But you can't track that when you just have a vision board, but you can track it with a Kanban board. And that is also why I absolutely love breaking everything down in Notion because I can see the incremental progress that is being made and sometimes you just need to see that incremental progress to push you to keep going. Starting something is always harder than maintaining it once you have started. So again, just keeping that little log for myself of this month, these are the things that I did for this particular goal. And if I'm feeling unmotivated and I'm not sure about whether I should keep a goal or not, I'll go in and I'll read the commentary on a particular goal that I have. And I've realized that, oh, I've actually already started making progress towards this. Why would I kick this off the board now? And that will just push me to keep going. But I really like having that log there for that reason. Another thing I love, love about the control and the customization that you can get with Notion and so many other tools, of course, but you know, Notion fan here, is I not only have my annual goals board, but then the way that I tag each card under each category of goals, I give it a quarter and I give it a timeline or a deadline if, if that's relevant. But typically I will assign a quarter to it, Q1 or Q3. Some of my goals will span multiple quarters of the year. And then I have a different view of my overall goals board that is just for a particular quarter. And that makes it so easy to digest and make progress towards what I want to achieve because I'm not overwhelmed with this crazy board of a million things because I do like to break my goals down to quite a granular level. But you know, I just click on my Q2 board because I've filtered everything else out and it just seems so much more achievable. It's kind of like the whole 12 week system, which I haven't officially adopted, but I guess this is kind of a version of that. So you can customize, you can configure and filter your boards in so many different views. You can also create a dashboard, which I haven't yet done. I'm afraid that my obsession with Notion may get very, very unhealthy should I also create a dashboard for myself. But that is something I eventually want to do just to have a really nice overview of everything that is going on in there for me. But anyway, let's wrap this video up. I think I have given you the gist of why I'm so passionate about this. In summary, I will say that vision boards create vibes. Notion or Kanban boards create action. Vision boards create clarity. Notion or Kanban boards create momentum. Vision boards are cute and aesthetic, but Notion boards get it done. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far. I think I have conveyed why I am so passionate about why vision boards are out and Notion or Kanban boards are in. Maybe it is the product manager in me, but hey, if it works, it works. So with that being said, thank you for watching once again. And it's not too late. Keep it simple. Start with your vision, but then start with one board, break it down into actions one week at a time. You will get there.